What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Hezo. Just finished picking up the um the new cart that we just got. We left, we went to, um just picked it up. The dude gave us some new tires, some fresh new clean tires, new clutches. So what, what we about to do now? We about to go ahead head back to the house, get it checked out, look it over, and show you guys, see what see what y'all think, and then go on from there. It's a new day. Now we got the cart in the shop. Now let's go ahead and get some deeper look into it and see what we working with. Far. Look like we're working with a little three horse little en engine. And it pretty much is still stock for the most part, but we still got the stock car and it did have the stock L for two parties. Took it off, so I was just looking to it, see what I was working with. But for right now, everything runs. Only downside is we don't have any sort of kill switch, so right now we just popping off the spark. Spark boot to get it shut off and everything. In the midst of me taking everything off, I was taking the exhaust off and coming to find out this exhaust. Let me see if I can get a better angle. This exhaust doesn't even work with this engine, like at all. This this exhaust is for like a '79. And I'm assuming this is a 212 because it's a three horse, but I could be wrong. But yeah, this exhaust doesn't even work for this engine. So now we have to make a whole new exhaust and go from there. Alright, so when I bought it from the guy, he said everything ran and worked. And when I was there, we saw, we saw it run. So let's see if we can get her to run again. So when, from what he told me was, you gotta make sure you. He said, have the fuel on and everything, and make sure you have the choke on. I got the, the air filter off, so it should be working just fine. Let's see if we can get it started. intake is way over here so we're gonna have to either remount the gas tank or we're gonna have to pit in the post pump to get everything working to the car but I'm planning on putting a new carb on it anyway a new stop a new car 
but I really don't want to deal with this stock car. But pretty much when I bought the cart, she was like, for the most part, the dude he redid the whole. He didn't have the exact mountain holes, the, the the steering hub for the for the right steering wheel, so he ended up drilling new holes in it. But in, other than that, pretty much what I'm trying to do is I'm replacing this hub. This, so pretty much I'm replacing this steering hub with a quick release because we tried it out when we first got in, got got the cart. It was a struggle trying to get in this damn this dang seat. So we're gonna begin replacing it with a quick release. Make it easier to go in and out. Pop the steering wheel off, pretty much. And when we bought the cart, it didn't come with any pedals or anything because the guy said he was still working on it, but he really didn't want to work on it anymore. So we need some new pedals. We're getting some steering column. Get not a steering column. We're we're getting the quick release. Make an exhaust. New car. And then also we had no we had the brake we had the brake disc on here, but he never had the the, the, the brake pads and stuff for for brakes, so we're gonna need some new brakes too. So now let's go ahead and get everything ordered. And then we're going to start putting everything on here. Two weeks later. All right, we got everything came in. We got the quick release for steering. I got me. I, I went ahead and upgraded the carb, and I got a 26 millimeter. Um, I would say Makuni, but you know Amazon, so I, it's pretty much a knockoff Makuni carb. Got me some actual billet aluminum racing pedals. You know, make things better. And also, I got the brake master cylinder and then the brakes. So now we can actually get everything started. a little change up on you guys from pretty much what I just did was everything you just saw with time I just installed a whole new engine on it that engine I, I tested it out a little bit really wasn't a big fan of it I probably show a little video of it right here But 
I ended up upgrading to a 212, a Predator 212. I'll go ahead and show you. It's pretty much what I got. Every normal standard go kart engine, the 212. Everybody likes it. So pretty much, just did what I did with the last engine. Made a new exhaust. Got the new carb on it. But I tested this one out with this engine. But the throttle cable I got is a little too short. So when I got it connected to the pedals, the carburetor pretty much stays open. So it's always on, like full throttle. I, I wouldn't say full throttle. But it's somewhat open, but I'm gonna change that out. Put a new throt a longer throttle cable on it so it can actually work, and then give it a test drive.